This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Mill Rock Resources, Mr. Greg Beischer. Greg, good morning to you. Good morning, Gerardo. Always a pleasure. Greg, you and I chatted at Beaver Creek last, and and when we talked, there was a a really good possibility of a high-grade discovery that Northern Star's Pogo Gold Mine was vectoring towards um, the massive district-scale land package that you've managed to put together there. Um, That inspired a geophysical survey that I know is a very important part of what's next in Mill Rock's future here. Um, I'm not a geologist, but just looking over the data here, in my amateur opinion, it looks like it delivered everything you were hoping for, and it looks like you have a pretty damn compelling drill target at West Pogo. Um, can you provide the details and, and make that sound a little bit smarter and more geologically um, <laughs> appropriate? Yeah, sure thing, Gerardo. Uh, so bear in mind, first of all, that uh, at West Pogo, this is the but one small block out of a, a giant tract of claims that, that Mill Rock staked uh, recently, though we've held property, built the land position up slowly over the last five years, and we've had the unique opportunity to capture just about all the land and known prospects within what I consider is going to be an entire mining camp one day. Uh, but we do have an absolutely compelling drill target at West Pogo. And uh, first of all, just uh, on closeology, I mean, you can see the Pogo gold mine from uh, the ridge tops uh, on the project. It abuts it directly against the mine's property. Uh, so that's one good line of evidence. Uh, you know, there's a saying that uh, uh, mines are often found in the shadow of a head frame. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's true, I think. But there's lots of other lines of evidence that have been pointing uh, to uh, gold-bearing vein system coming right on to our property. We, we know that the trend from the mine is to the northwest. Well, we own the land to the northwest. And uh, eventually it should come onto our property, but we always thought it was going to be rather deep. Um, that's why we were quite pleased and surprised when uh, uh, <clears throat> Northern Star, the Pogo mine operator, announced a new discovery northwest of the mine uh, that was actually quite shallow. And uh, so a fault system must have brought the mineralized quartz veins back closer to surface. And we have, uh, at West Pogo's, other very good indications, strong gold, soil, uh, um, uh, bismuth and arsenic in, in the soil, uh, high-grade samples of uh, gold-bearing quartz at surface, and a couple of historic drill holes that intersected narrow, high-angle veins. So lots of good signs of evidence pointing to a gold deposit on our property. Um, and in the magnetics, we could see the very similar signature uh, as uh, is, occurs at the Pogo mine. And uh, this was the final piece of evidence. We used a, a survey called CSAMT, and uh, uh, it's a rather expensive survey, uh, but it's uh, really quite diagnostic for the purpose that we were using. And uh, sure enough, we got uh, strong positive responses just exactly at the uh, locations where we thought we should have seen them it were there to be a gold deposit below surface. So um, it, it was an expensive survey, but in our view now well worth uh, that investment because it makes uh, the prospect that much more attractive. It's the final piece of evidence we needed. It's ready to drill and it's a really compelling target, and that's uh, going to make the, the entire property much more valuable uh, if we do bring in a partner, and in any event, it's a really compelling drill target. I know it's a sensitive question, so let me try to be a little bit artsy in the way that I word this. Whether you decide to drill this on your own or bring in a partner that is willing to, to, to delineate an aggressive exploration program for this very compelling target. When is the earliest that we could finally get the truth machine out there to see if there's something underneath the ground? Drilling, of course, is what I'm referencing. Right. Well, uh, that is a decision we have to make sometime soon. Uh, uh, we've been holding off and saying, well, we're going to decide uh, whether to drill it ourselves or bringing a partner when when the time comes. Well, the time is here now. 
whatever we do, uh, uh, partner or not, we're going to go ahead and install the drill trail. It's about a five-kilometer drill trail coming off the Pogo Mine Road up to Aurora Creek, where we've got the first series of uh, great responses, the really uh, compelling drill targets that we've developed. And that'll give us the optionality then to be drilling just a few months from now in February and March. Uh, um, it's cold in Alaska at that time of year, but it can be a great time to drill as long as you've got a water source. So we'll put in the road and we'll drill a water well. And uh, that'll uh, give us that optionality uh, to drill that quickly, whether it's a partner-funded drill program or a Millrock-funded, uh, we want to get going quickly. We want to start making news and see if there's gold on the ground there. And this would be, again, just on a very small part, a compelling part, obviously, of the land package, but a small part of what is a massive district-scale package. You mentioned initially about the potential for this to become not just a, a, a big, significant discovery, but a camp, a camp that yields multiple significant discoveries. Are you approaching it that way when you have these negotiations with potential partners? I'm, I'm absolutely insistent on it, uh, Gerardo. It's such a unique opportunity to have been able to acquire by uh, staking at very low cost an, an entire mining district with uh, numerous showings and occurrences of gold uh, at various places all across the district. And, you know, there's prospects on open ground yet that uh, we could have staked. We know about them from uh, our, our big database of uh, information. But, uh, you know, uh, you can't stake everything. But uh, if one were to take the approach is that we're going to explore this entire camp systematically, continuously uh, over a decade, I think multiple ore bodies can be found. And so, uh, any partner that we've been talking to, we've made it very, very clear that uh, not all the money can go into just this highly compelling West Pogo prospect. Uh, there's going to be multiple prospects like that. So we'll try to develop a couple of each year. And over that uh, eight or 10 year period, uh, drill a couple every year. And uh, I think that's going to result in multiple discoveries. Not a lot of juniors out there that have the flexibility to negotiate decade-long, potentially decade-long deals. Um, I got to congratulate you and the team. I know there was a good six to 12-month period where I, as a shareholder, um, was worried. I, I, I knew the company had enough projects and the network to continue on, but I just didn't see where that big, big catalyst was going to come from. Um, I don't want to say you pulled a rabbit out of a hat, Greg, because it was a lot of hard work, but you got it done. And I am as excited for the Millrock story as I have been in quite some time. Anything else that you'd like to add to that? Yeah, you know, we didn't just pull this out. It's been something we've been building on over five years, but I'll agree <laughs> with you. There were some uh, very, very dicey times uh, in our our history over the this uh, six year horrendous downturn and uh, it was gut wrenching at times but um you know if you can get through those bad times and position for the good times which appear to be coming and i think we really did it uh, right with this project so uh, we're really happy uh, and uh, excited to get going uh, in in earnest on it and get that drill turning well, you might be well on your way to becoming a five-year overnight success, Greg. Congrats again. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Gerardo. Look forward to chatting next time. Hopefully, we're talking about a decision being made about whether you're going to go at this alone or bring in a partner that recognizes the potential um, on this, again, just potential uh, camp maker. Right, exactly. That's the next step. Sounds good. Chat soon. Thanks again, Greg. Okay, bye, Gerardo.